very exciting entry there. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just uh, start off by just telling us a little bit about yourself? Obviously, you're a nurse, but give us your backstory. Uh, so I've been a nurse six years. I am now actually on to the less fun side of nursing. I am a supervisor, so I'm more in the middle management. Not as exciting. Um, still working night shift because that's where they needed somebody. Um, but other other than nursing, I am a cat mom. Hey. <laughs> and I live in Michigan and just enjoy hanging out in the outdoors. Um, Strawberry cat. Kind of avoiding michigan or avoiding winter at all times but <laughs> yeah um yeah and you love strawberry picking yes love <laughs> strawberry picking <laughs> and making jam <laughs> for sure yeah <laughs> that's fantastic so uh you know i'm really excited later in this talk to dive into you being uh working nights right because like that is such a big obstacle that i think so many of the nurses in this group look to overcome and maybe even automatically disqualify themselves from ever having a transformation because they think, well, you know, there's so much I can't control. I can't control my sleep. You know, it's harder for me to be able to fit into my relationships. Like I barely have enough time for them. I can't really do any, anything else. So I'm really excited to hear how you know, you've overcome that in your own experience. Um, but let's just start with the beginning. Before starting this uh, journey, uh, this time, if you will, where were you feeling? What was like your physical state? What was your mental state? Uh, fill us into that. Sure. I was, before I started this, um, feeling pretty like lethargic, low energy all the time. I had a lot of anxiety, mm -hmm. um, never really felt like doing much of anything. I'd go to work, come home, go to bed, get up and repeat. And that was about it. Um, my relationships outside of like at work were definitely suffering. I didn't have the energy to give to anybody else other than the people that I was serving at work. Um, and it was really like affecting me and becoming a bigger problem. Um, just, you know, didn't ever feel like I was doing anything more than going to work and coming home. Yeah. I, I think that's so common. Just getting to this point place where you almost feel like you're a spectator of your own life, not the active mm -hmm. participant, you know, where do you feel like that's shifted a little bit for you now where you feel like you're more for sure. Control? Nice. That's awesome. Yes. I'm yeah. I need to dive all the way into that. <laughs> so let's quantify it. Where do you feel like your energy was on a scale of one to 10 um, at the start at that point? I think when I started, I gave it a three, yeah. like it was really low. You know, there was nothing really motivating me to make something happen every day make me accountable for wanting to get up and do something yeah that makes sense do you did you feel like if your energy would stay a three and you stayed in this place that your life would stay the same or did you feel like it would progressively even potentially get worse um like you would get even less energy potentially the body would change in a way you don't want like were you afraid that it to keep going in that way. Yeah, if I would have not made a change, I think it would have gotten worse. Um, mm -hmm. Even before I started the program, like I was noticing gaining weight, you know, not having motivation to go out and see friends or do stuff like that. And so like, that's really what prompted me to start um, was that I just like wasn't even recognizing myself anymore. Yeah, it sounds to me like this was um, as much as you know, you've seen your body physically change. It sounds like this is really about the mental gains, the, the mental changes that have happened in the last six mm -hmm. years. So let's highlight those a little bit. Um, so obviously you weren't feeling very motivated to, you know, hang out with friends, to do anything social. It was pretty much, you know, sleep, work, and then veg, you know, just to kind of get your energy back enough to be able to do it again. <laughs> yeah. So what, what, what other things, if anything, were you noticing around that time that, you just was an indicator that you had to change. What were some other things going on uh, with the, you know, was it, how was your confidence around that time? How were you feeling? I, you know, self-confidence was like zero that I, self-image was zero. Didn't really like, I didn't enjoy looking at myself in the mirror. I was, you know, just kind of, even like to go to work, I used to get already do my hair, do my makeup. And yeah. I had just kind of stopped doing all of that because it just didn't seem to matter. Mm. And so that has 
kind of taken a huge change as well. I've gotten back to, you know, being excited to get ready for work and like new trying out new hairstyles and like all that kind yeah. of fun stuff. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm yeah. Gonna, yeah. So, I mean, let's just flash forward a little bit. So it's been about six months. Where's your energy? Where's your energy now? So now I give it, depending on the day, obviously, eight or nine. Um, like wow, I am, awesome. yes. <laughs> Way to go. Yeah, I am excited. Like I have a routine. I wake up at the same time every day on even like days I work and days I don't work, depending on if, if I have to go in at night, you know, I have like a six o'clock wake up time. I work out, I make my dinner like I have a very strict routine and I love sticking to it because it makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something for the day. Um, and now like going out and doing things, I make time to see friends, my boyfriend, my family. So yeah. big changes. That's amazing. Okay. So yeah. And so talking a little bit about, you know, just, uh, I guess the word I'm going to use is like hope. So it's almost like I feel like at some point, and maybe you can identify with this too, when we kind of get into a slump, we sometimes believe that, you know, the past is better than the future will ever be. And that's where the, the lowest motivation ever is. And that's kind of with what you described about like, oh man, I don't want to even get ready in the morning. Like, I'm not going to put any effort into this because why would I? It doesn't matter. Like you said, there's no, there's no reason for it. So to regain almost like that hope in the future, the hope, the, the, you know, hope in the future is power in the present. You feel that like, how can I say that? It's almost like, uh, I mean, I don't know if this is too heavy, but it's like self-worth. You feel worth it. You feel worth taking the time to like do your makeup and to like be seen. And is that true at all? Or am I making that up? Yeah, no, no, no. That's very true. That's awesome. And where yeah. have you seen that? affect you the most obviously you said you see it with friends you see it just uh you know with your making time to you know see your boyfriend are you seeing it at work as well what are some other areas and how yeah definitely like at work um relationships with co-workers even being their supervisor um like just I feel like I'm making better relationships and connections with them I feel like I'm more of a person they can trust now like yeah. you know genuinely like going around and seeing how people are doing and feeling and um just like getting out and doing new activities in the community too so lots of fun stuff i love it that's fantastic so yeah. let's talk a little bit about strategies so obviously you know there's there's some night nurses out there that are you know thinking like okay tell me your secrets what are you doing because like i want to feel like you do i want my energy to be an eight or a nine <laughs> right i want to be losing i want to be losing pounds inches um what would you say, and I, I know that there's probably going to be a, like a laundry list, but like if you were to identify maybe your top three things that you could share with a, a night nurse right now struggling, what, what would they be? And maybe we start with just number one or number three. Number one, I think would be to make that routine. So like you are going to set the, the exact same time every day, whether you're working or not, you're going to wake up at a specific time, you're going to make time to work out. Um, and then I like also set aside, like once I'm done with my workout, I, I eat my meal. Um, and I just find that like having that routine, like I have something to look forward to every day. And it's been the biggest change that I've made. And like, I've stuck to it. That's crucial. You know, something, yeah. I love the word that you said, you know, with routine, another word that we use often is uh, systems. And I'm a big believer that we, all of our all of our actions, uh, which means also all of our results, will rise and fall to the integrity or the strength of our systems. How good our systems are, the fact that you've already put it in your calendar, that you know it's like I wake up, it's the first thing I do, or it's the second or whatever. Mm -hmm. so you attach it to existing habits, right? There's a whole. I'm sure you did this with Coach Sharon, you know, a bunch of things that you can do to make sure that your system is strong. But the fact that now it's happening, you're building momentum eventually, and you might already be here six months in, but eventually you get to this point, and you can actually tell me if you're here, where it takes more effort to, to not do it. 
than to just, well, I'm going to do what I did yesterday and do it anyway, <laughs> right? Because it's just like, it's momentum at that point. It's kind of, I think it's Newton's second law, right? The law of inertia. Once you're, yeah. born, it's like, we're creatures of habit. I'm just going to do it. Are you, are you, do you find yourself almost getting there at this point? Yeah, like definitely with the working out, like it's just that's, you know, I've been on and off the bus with that because I like in the six months I've had a little sickness. I've um, traveled a lot. And so like I lose that momentum, but then like it's so quick to pick it back up. Wow. Like once I'm back to, you know, my normal home routine, like it, I pick it up super quick again. But now it's like even when I'm on vacation or, you know, not in my own home, it's still easy to keep up with the routine. It took the first probably four months for sure to feel, you know, like, oh, this is easy enough. I can do this like outside of my house too. Yeah. But I feel like I'm there now where it's much easier to continue the routine even when I'm not around in my normal environment. That is so powerful. Do you feel like that is new this time around? Uh, have you, so I guess we should let everyone, we should ask, I'll ask you for everyone else out there in case, uh, well, of course they wouldn't know because they're probably meeting you for the first time. Uh, have you tried this in the past? Have you tried started a journey in the past before? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. And it's just like, there was no momentum. Like I didn't have any, anybody to hold me accountable, nothing to push me forward. And so this time has been significantly different. What, what do you feel like it's been the most different for you this time? And why do you feel like I think you're still going six months in strong? Having somebody like the weekly check-ins have been massive because you don't like, I have a huge people pleaser. So like, I do not like to let people down. Sure. Um, so like knowing that every week I'm going to check in with coach Sharon, it keeps me accountable for having a good week. And then when I check in with her and she asks, how was your week? I can be like, Oh, it was good, but you know, I missed this, this, or this. And then we can talk about how the next week we can make it better. Yes. So almost having that structure of like, Hey, celebrating victories, being able to get that structure again. Cause I don't know about you, but I, at least I've been this way or I've seen clients in the past be this way where sometimes you don't have the best week and it's like, you get on the call and it's like, Oh no, I'm, I'm going to get berated. Or like, I don't even want to like tell you what I did. But just right. able to get that reframe of like, yeah, okay, yeah, it wasn't perfect, but look at all the stuff you did great. Get you mm -hmm. in a good state of mind to say, okay, well, yeah, you're right. And then it's just, it's only up from here. Like it doesn't have to be us filled with guilt and filled with, you know, that uh, all these negative feedback loops that and emotions that drag us down. Let's just, you know, put those to the side and focus on where we're going, you know? So right. Um, that's fantastic. Uh, Christy says, hey, Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> if there is anyone out there as well, and if you have, if anyone's out there that has a question for Brooke, please uh, ask away. I know that it's uh, 4 p.m. Probably a lot of people are working here, but would, uh, would love to hear from you guys as well. So, all right. So number one, you said creating routine, crucial, right? Um, getting in that habit. And you said, you know, the coach was a big help with that, Coach Sharon. Kudos. Shout out to Coach Sharon. Awesome. What would be number two? Um, ooh, good question. <laughs> uh, I can give you I time think... to think if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, just like number two for keeping me going is being like being gentle with myself mm -hmm. because it takes a long time to see those results. Yes. But to see them, but to feel them was much quicker. Yes. Um, so like I had definitely at the beginning was very hard on myself. Like I'm not seeing any change. This seems very, you know, worthless. Like I'm never going right. to, I'm never going to notice a difference. Right. But time. then I'm as we, yep. yeah, we, you know, coach Sharon and I would talk about like scale victories versus non-scale victories. And like when those non-scale victories started piling up, yes. you were like, oh, okay. Like something's happening here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And, you know, you then start looking at that list of things and then it motivates you to continue to try to better every week. And I think that just being gentle and giving yourself the time that you need has been big. So important. And I mean, this goes back to a big belief that we have, which is like really making this transformation happen and then stick forever. It's a psychology game less than or more than it is a mechanics game right we all kind of know what to do but it's 
how do I navigate the emotions, the psychology that's going to allow me to stick? And I mean, that's a crucial piece right there. It's just being kinder with yourself. Sounds simple, but it's, it's the simplest things that usually aren't the easiest to do. Right. <laughs> so being able to just, yeah, be a good finder, you know, shift focus to from, Hey, you know, oh man, these things aren't happening the way I want. Expectations aren't being met maybe in, you know, a weight loss way immediately. But yeah, you're right. All these things are do, are great that I'm experiencing. And hey, as much t- as, as time goes on, I'm just going to keep losing more and more. Like I know for you, pounds on the scale, you know, if you were to say like, hey, you're going to lose whatever, 10 pounds roughly, uh, you know, in six months, it's like, oh man, no. But then you look at it and you're like, well, hold on a second. Why would I want to lose the weight in the first place? It's for the other gains. It's to have more energy. It's to have more self-esteem. It's to have all of these things to experience all that. If it takes me twice as long to lose all the weight, so be it. Because now that I have the mental part, I know I'm not going to stop. And like, that's the crucial part because, you know, if it, if you want to, you know, I'll just use anyone, anyone that wants to lose 30 pounds, I'm sure everyone here would agree they'd rather lose it in two years if it meant they never gained it back versus lose it in 30 days. And then they have to yo-yo for the rest of their life. So, you know, I think that's crucial. Do you feel like you're at that at or at or starting to get to that point where these things are becoming relatively permanent? Like this is becoming a bit of who you are? Yeah, definitely starting to feel that way. Like I have never been one to like want to work out. But now I like look forward to waking up and like working out, lifting weights. Like I, that is just like a part of now my everyday and I genuinely enjoy it. Um, And, you know, planning what I'm going to eat for the week. Like, it's just nice to, you know, feel like I have control over what's going on. Hell yeah. (laughs) It's about, I'm pumped. I'm, I'm, I'm so enthusiastic for you. I mean, that is the goal, right? Like, when we think about it at the end of the day, step four, we want to create that new fit identity and it doesn't happen overnight. And I feel like a lot of the time we can, again, feel that guilt and be hard on ourselves because it's like, I got to be hundred percent perfect. But, you know, just like we talked about already, it's like one of the beliefs is progress, not perfection, right? I fail, I adapt, I reflect, I learn. I just, I don't stop. And once you create that identity, like we were talking about, it's harder to stop and to not do the actions that it is to do them. So you just do them, right? And that's that's where we want to get to, where you feel, I I even heard you said you look forward to working out. What? That's crazy. (laughs) Like, huh? (laughs) Like, that's that's so cool to think about. Like, you are feeling pulled towards these actions. Six months ago, if you were to, if I were to say, or somebody were to say to you, hey, Brooke, in six months, you're going to look forward to working out. What do you think you would have told that person? (laughs) Uh, you're crazy. <laughs> yeah, you're right, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna, yeah, not going to happen. So, I mean, that is just so amazing to hear because at the end of the day, we don't need to be perfect. All we need to do is get the majority of votes, right? Just like in an election, uh, it's you don't need all the votes to win. You just need the majority. And if we're trying to create a new fit identity, all we have to be is over 50%, 60%, 70%. The closer we are to 100, great, but you don't need to be there. I'm not there. I'm not, I don't think any of our coaches are a hundred percent there because why would you live life at a hundred percent perfect fitness? It's like, it's more fun to be at 80 or like 85. <laughs> like, you know, yesterday I had a, you know, uh, two of those Twix ice cream bars. They were awesome, <laughs> but now I'm just eating normally again. Right. So it's like being able to, are you finding that too? It's like, you can deviate and then you just go right back on no guilt. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's powerful. Were you experiencing guilt around food before? Yeah, definitely. And like a lot of like, I was in my house because I didn't want to go out and there'd be a lot of binge eating and like yeah. just, you know, and not a healthy relationship with food. And now I look forward to like, ooh, what kind of fun, like healthy meal choices can I make, but like still make them exciting. You know, I don't have yeah. to eat a salad every day, but what can I do with these healthy food choices to make it fun and exciting. You know what I love? I have a, I have this book. I don't know if you've ever heard of Jamie Oliver, the, the chef. Mm-hmm. So he's got this uh, book. It's called uh, Five Ingredients. Um, let me make a note of this too. Uh, 
and they're all healthy recipes. Uh, and I, have you ever seen it? I have not. It's, it's so amazing. They have like pasta recipes, like all the fish and meat recipes. I think uh, salad recipes. Cause like, I'm not a bit like I'm with you. Like I can only eat freaking salad and, you know, lemon dressing <laughs> so many times before I'm like, yo, I'm done. Um, but I think they have like 20 salad variations in there that I'm like, oh wow, like I look forward to eating this type of salad. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to get you a copy. I highly recommend it. There's like a hundred recipes in there. And I think I used maybe 50 of them and I was able to adopt like at least eight that I'm like, this is great. And to your point, like it's exciting. Like, oh, what can I try? Yeah. It's like a whole new world, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, it, it truly is like, it all starts with belief. So if there is somebody out there that hopefully this is just, just like all you have to do is light your candle because once you light your candle like it's like a wildfire right wildfires don't start enormous it's just the smallest amount and then it can expand and yours are, your your wild wildfire is expanding brooke i'm excited to see how much carnage you do with your wildfire <laughs> it's gonna be fantastic i love it if there was um oh we didn't say number three so number one was oh. <laughs> I know you're like, oh crap, there's only two. I was hoping you'd forget. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. Well, that was two. It was so good. We will call it two and three. How's that? Perfect. Um, for you, uh, is there, I, I guess I would say if there was somebody on the fence about starting their journey or maybe even getting started with this program, what advice would you give to them? What would you tell them? Um, I would say it is, even if you started with like the seven day, you know, the RN challenge or whatever it's called, it is going to be worth every little bit that you put into it. Um, just even to have somebody like help you find those spots where you need help, pick you up and kind of get you back on track, yes. keep you, keep you accountable. I think, um, it is totally worth it. Even if, even if you feel like you're you know, oh, I got this, you know, whatever, I can handle it on my own. I think it's nice to have somebody just kind of like your little good person on your shoulder to keep you motivated and going. Um, and I think having that accountability part has been my favorite part of the whole program. It's amazing. Do you feel at this point you were on a track to get to your final goal and be set up to sustain it forever? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's about let's go well i'll read the comments really quick just to see and then uh we'll rock and roll uh cool awesome i can't read them apparently i think uh i think my won't let me read them <laughs> which is totally fine all right cool so we are we are good to go i appreciate uh i appreciate you taking the time uh, this is fantastic. I loved it. I love this. And uh, if anyone's out there that has any questions for Brooke, even on recording, feel free to drop them below and we can, uh, we can answer. See you guys soon. Oh, look at this fireworks. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. See you guys out there. Bye.